opponent as you prepare for this matchup? Win the game. Yeah. That's about it. Just win the Civil War. Any favorite moments throughout the season? Throughout this season? Um, no, I mean, it's been a, it's been a good season. I mean, of course, we want our record to be better, but, uh, you know, we got to finish it off right with a win. So that'll be about it right now. That's all that's on my mind. When Brady said that they had talked, some of the players talked to you about going against Oregon State, you said, I've done this before at other Pac-12 schools, but is it a little bit different being on this particular sideline going against Oregon State? No. <laughs> no, I mean, just like I told them, um, after I left Oregon State, I was at Washington and at USC. And uh, my goal is to win every game that I, I coach in. Um, the very first time, and maybe at Washington it was different, but now it's it's another game, you know. And I can understand people around like saying, "Oh, it's a civil war," and now you're you're with the Ducks. But I want to win, so I want the Ducks to win. Coming out of Southern California, what sold you on that program? Because it was obviously a tough time for OSU when you were in high school. What, what made you want to take that leap? Um, <clears throat> it was a it was a different time for me because growing up in New York and then moving to Los Angeles, being in the city, um, experiencing something different, you know, like, you know, like a, a kind of like a, a, a country or, you know, just a quiet uh, environment. Um, that was, was different and appealing to me at that time. So, and I really trusted Coach Banker and, and, and uh, Mike Riley, you know, th those guys hung in there when they were recruiting me uh, to USC. So um, I came up to Oregon and I liked it. Simonton yesterday, and he said that one, you were the smartest player he ever played with. But he also said that underneath whatever Clark Kent suit you're wearing, these are his words that you've got a Beaver Superman shirt underneath. He, he says you bleed uh, orange. How much truth is there to that? That even though you've moved on, there's still a lot of good memories there. I mean, the Beavers are the Beavers. You know, I mean, I went there, I got a degree there, I, I made a lot of good friends there. Um, however, you know, uh, I'm with I'm with Oregon, and you know, this is where my my loyalty is and my support. They take care of me. They take care of my kids, and and that's what it is. <laughs> you have some Oregon State gear still up in the house, though. Some of that memorabilia from when you played. I do. I do. Yeah, I do. Um, I have a duffel bag with uh, my jerseys. Um, what else I got in there? I got all kind of stuff in there. But it's in a duffel bag in the garage. I know exactly where it is. <laughs> went to Oregon, right? She did. So how'd you guys? Meet? Uh, we met through a mutual friends um, up in Portland, um, and we actually hung out a lot in the same areas and did not meet each other until several years after college because we have a lot of the same mutual friends who most are our, our uh, ducks. So that's, it's kind of a long story. It's interesting. But, yes, um, yes, she went here, and we've been, been in the same places at the same time, but we didn't meet each other until, like, years after. So not even she's giving you a little bit of crap this week? No, no, not at all. <laughs> Oh, good. All right. Yeah, sure. I right. take one more. This is a stretch. Oh, okay, one more. Yeah, you. one more. All right. Levitt said that before he hired you, you guys really hadn't met, hadn't crossed a lot of paths. What made you want to take the leap to come here with a coordinator that sounds like you didn't know a whole lot about? Uh, Coach Taggart. Yeah. You know, I, I believe in Coach Taggart and uh, had plenty of conversations with him before taking the job. And obviously, I did my research and looked up Coach Levitt and I knew what kind of defense he was running in the Pac-12. I mean, and then uh, being at Louisville, getting back close to home. Uh, had to wait, hold out on telling my wife about Oregon job because I knew she was just, just go take it. <laughs> um, so, um, I mean, this is a great place, you know, and uh, it was very intriguing and I'm glad I did it because this is like truly a special place and we got a great staff and um, we keep it going. We're going to do a lot of special things here. Simonton has said that he thinks that you're a, a DC in the future. Do you have ambitions like that? coordinator, head coach? Yeah. I want to be a uh, head coach. Yeah. I do want to be a head coach. So when the time is right for that, that's what I'll, that's what it'll come. Yeah. This awesome to ask Willie about this on Monday, but this is the first time that either school has had a black head coach, let alone two on the same at the same time. What's that mean, do you think, um, for this region to have this kind of diversity at the head coaching position? Um, I don't know what that means, you know, to be honest. I think that the, the most qualified person uh, will get the job. I think that, um, you know, obviously Coach Taggart has done a great job everywhere he's been, and then Corey um, getting the interim. Um, he's doing a good job of getting the kids playing harder. Um, you know, I mean, you don't, I don't kind of look at those things, you know, I, and I think that the most qualified person will get the job. So whoever ADs and, and those that are making the decisions to choose their head coach, you know, they'll find the right fit. Sorry, say that again. Can you put into perspective what the senior class means for the season for you guys buying into your first With year? With the senior class? Yeah. 
Okay, say that one more time. The perspective of the senior class, of how important it was for them to buy in and your success this year. Oh, I mean, well, everybody. You want total buy-in from everyone, you know, when you're coming in as a new coaching staff. And, um, I mean, it was important, not just for the seniors, but for everybody. And I'm, I'm glad we have an opportunity, or we did last week, to get bowl eligible. And I'm glad we have an opportunity to send them off right here, um, you know, with their last game here in Austin.